Hello everybody, welcome. So many of you wanted me to show you how I do a cleansing in my space. So that's what I will be doing for y'all today. So buckle up, get some popcorn, I don't even know. And uh, here we go. So typically before I start, I open this window behind me. It's the largest window that I have in my house and it's in the center of the house as well. Um, I would open my front door, however, um, as you can see, and I will flip the camera or turn around, what have you, it is tucked in a corner here behind this wall. So it's not great for like consistent and good energy flow. So I switch to, again, this large window here because it just, it, the flow works so much better. So you can grab your Sage and Palo Santo. I'm not gonna light them during the video because I suspect that with my attention span, I'm not gonna be able to focus and, you know, do proper fire safety at the same time. Probably catch my hair on fire, which I don't wanna do. But typically you're gonna wanna start in your most back rooms in the house that is my bedroom sorry it's a fucking mess it's the only thing in this house that's a mess right now but so i start in the furthest corner which is like right here okay so i would light my sage and palo santo together and essentially just go around the window and do like a square motion to and then have the intention of like creating a white or gold barrier um, and not letting anything bad in, right? Okay, so I'll start in the corner, do my window. I only have one window in this bedroom. Then I would go to my closet and, you know, waif, waft, whatever the fuck the word is for that, <laughs> and put some of the smoke in there. Um, it's just a basic closet. But so there is an attic in there, but I don't have access to it. Plus um, it's so dusty, it could catch on fire, which is another fire safety thing. So you don't wanna do that, especially in crawl space attics. Don't light that shit, it'll be on fire. So once I do that, I come into my office. Again, one of the most further back rooms in my house. And yeah, I got shit all over the fucking place. But anyway, I typically will start into this closet here, which is hidden by my thing, but there is a door. I would do the th same thing, waif or waft the smoke in here. And people who've tried to light up sage, you know it's a bitch to keep lit. That's normal, okay? You just gotta keep lighting that shit sometimes. I'll go to my windows. There's two windows in here. I will do my... um. Ooh, almost knocked that over. My square motion, outline motion of the window. Again, gold light or silver light, whatever light you want. Um, just have that intention. Nothing's coming in. Nothing, you know, evil. Anything that you suspect that's nasty in your house, you're going to have that intention of it going out the door or the window. In my case, it's that big ass window. Second window, same thing. Um, okay. Once I do that, I'm gonna come into the hallway, which I have another closet. Again, closet, it's just a closet with towels and shit. Still need to get that. And then I'll come to my bathroom because that is my next furthest room, which, you know, it's a normal bathroom. I do have a window here. So, you know, I would outline the window with the smoke and stuff, save intentions, right? Um, now I have a basement, so I would come through. Before I do my kitchen, I do my basement. You can have all your windows open in your house if you want to. And I'm just using sage and palo santo as an example. You can use copal and frankincense if you want to, but this is the easiest thing to show on camera because the other stuff is resin. But anyway, I'd come down with this stuff and it's like I'm flushing out the negative energy. 
Now I do have some windows down here. I believe I have three. So same thing. You're gonna outline your windows. I have a closet. It's a water utility closet. Waft, that shit in there. <laughs> now I do have a door. It's a storm door. That goes up Bilko doors. Um, I don't open it because of the massive um, cave crickets that come in. Fuck that, I ain't dealing with that. So I keep this door closed, but I still outline it, okay? Go to the bathroom, because I do have a bathroom in here. Do the same thing. Um, waft that shit in here. If you suspect you have a haunted mirror, you can outline the mirrors, or you can just do it automatically just in case. Um, if you feel like you have a haunted mirror, you can also use holy oil or holy water and put your little cross symbol on there, whatever symbol you want that makes you feel good. All right, I. Right. So now I'm in my shit room. I call it my shit room because it's full of shit. <laughs> I have a window in here. So I will, you know, do my thing, outline it with the smoke. Ah, hopefully not knock everything down. I. Right. Now I'm going back. I'm pretty much, and as I'm doing this, I'm kind of going in the motion of going in this direction, you know? And just like, it's pretty much like clockwise. But anyway, so now we're gonna go back up the stairs and we are going to flush out this energy here. I wish I had a cameraman because it would be easier. <laughs> now I'm in the, um, kitchen and I'm getting in here flushing the energy out I do have another door here um again outlining the window here outlining the door here okay and then I'm in my last room I do my windows I will start here at this big window right and then I'll go here to this little window um and then, you know, I come back around and I get this closet. And, you know, sometimes I'll open this door. If it's a nice day and it's not too cold, I'll open this door too. But generally, again, this window will be open and all that negative energy will be coming out of here. And yeah, the whole goal is to push that negative energy out. But, okay, every house is going to be different, right? So it all depends on like how many floors you have, like basements, crawl spaces, um, attics. Of course you wanna get the attic. If it's one of those attics you have access to and isn't gonna catch on fire because of the fire and the dust. So keep that in mind. I mean, I don't know if there's another way you want me to show you guys, let me know. Um, but as far as cleansing my space, and a lot of times, you know, I will meditate afterwards. And I have started creating my own incense um, until I get, right now, I don't have a nice shape to them. Some of them look kind of cockeyed. I need more molds um, to form them because right now they're almost shapeless. <laughs> okay, so I have these. They, these ones weren't put in a mold. They looked okay, but I don't know. Well, there goes that one. They don't look the best, but they work. And I don't know. It's, I dropped it. No, I can't find it. You know what they say. It's fine. But yeah, I will sit there and meditate with my incense or a white candle. You can also when you do this, you can also simultaneously light a white or black candle or dragon's blood candle, whatever. I don't like to put all my stock in dragon's blood. I like to mix it with other shit. Now it's getting on my nerves that I can't, oh, I found it. <laughs> um, I like to mix dragon's blood. Like, so in my incense, I do have dragon's blood, but that's not the only thing in it because there are other important ingredients, but, um, yeah, any what you don't even have to get a fancy candle either. You can literally go to the dollar store and get your little tea light candles. It's all about intention and manifestation. 
the moon phases do play a part in like the best times to do it that I would google because I have to google the information because sometimes I forget I'm not perfect when it comes to um astrology and knowing when the phases are and shit so I'm learning a lot just like you guys are and yes I'm kind of out of breath because <laughs> I ran outside <laughs> in the middle of filming because the mailman was knocking on a door and I thought it was my door, but it was really my neighbor's. Anyhow, <sighs> yeah. And it's all about intention and what you want accomplished. So that's really the important thing, but hopefully, you know, this video was helpful. Again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I figured I'd do this video now before I fuck up my hair because I'm going to try some shit. But uh, anyway, <laughs> I'll see y'all soon. Peace out, Girl Scout, Boy Scout, and everything else Scout.